But what's up guys, Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back with the the last comparison I'm gonna do. Guys, this, this is tedious. This is a very tedious job. And I know you guys are saying, I kept y'all waiting for a long time on this, but I've gotten the new Nintendo Switch Lite. I've gotten the new iPhone. I got the uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab S6. Yo, yo, you guys have been keeping me busy. So this is the last video I'm doing comparing these things, okay? I got a clear winner today. You're gonna find out in just one second which SSD is going to be my pick for the best one. Will it be the SanDisk or will it be the G Drive? Stay tuned to find out. So I've told you guys about the speeds and everything, but I'm gonna break each one of these down once again, one more time for everybody out there and especially the newcomers who are new to the channel. Uh, I'm going to break these down each individually. So let's do it. So first off, we have the SanDisk. Now the SanDisk is the one that won out against the Samsung T5. The SanDisk comes in four configurations, 250 and 500 gigabyte, and it actually comes in one terabyte and two terabyte. This is going to run you anywhere from about 74 bucks all the way up until about 300 bucks. And then uh, it reads and writes at about 550 megabytes per second. It works with Windows. It works with Android. It works with Mac. It connects through USB type C and it also comes with a USB type A adapter that you can use. It has a very slim compact design. It's shock resistant, IP55 water and dust resistant. Uh, what more could you ask for? in a SSD other than this. <laughs> now, when I found this one, I got a lot of people telling me about this one. This is the G drive by G technology. Now the G drive, wait for it, only comes in 500 gigabyte, one terabyte and two terabyte. There's no 250 gigabyte model of this one. Ranges anywhere from 109 all the way up to about 400 bucks. So you're going to pay a little bit more for the G drive, but let's talk about what you get with this G drive. You get 10 more megabytes per second of read speed, which it is 560 total. It works with Windows, Android, or Mac also. This one also connects USB type C and it comes with the USB type A adapter. It's very small and compact, about the same size, a little bit wider. This one is IP67 water and dust resistant. This one can handle more fluid than the other one. And this was probably one of the best selling points about this device. A thousand pound crush proof. Now, there is no way for me to test that unless I take it outside and run over it with a car. And I might just have to do that to put it to the test. But a thousand pound crush proof on this G Drive SSD. So, which one is faster? The G drive. Which one is uh, most resistant? It's the G drive. The G drive wins hands down guys. It's still small and compact. It's portable. It'll fit down in your pocket. Uh, files transfer really fast. I'm just gonna plug it in because somebody will say, why didn't you test it? Why didn't you download anything? I got it plugged in. Do I even have anything on here? Let's see. I got games. I got ROMs. Um, no big files. Let's shoot something over from. Let's select. Boom. Let's share or move. Let's move it to the G drive. There we go. Copy to the G drive. We're going to send it over. And I forgot my stopwatch. Oh well, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. <laughs> I'm not counting for you guys. Listen, uh, we're just gonna watch it. It's not gonna take long, okay? Just gonna watch it, listen to the music in the background. I'll even turn it up for you if you want me to. While we're waiting on this, let's talk about one of the newer videos that I'm going to be doing soon. Um, hold on. Oh, well, it's done. So <laughs> scratch that. 
Okay, going over here to G Drive, and boom, there the video is right there. Uh, same quality, same good quality. There we go. No issues, no lag, no nothing. Works well, does everything that it's supposed to. I give it a big thumbs up. You've seen my reviews on this one. I'm gonna link it below. This one may be for you. It may not be for you. But for right now, in my eyes, the G Drive beats out the SanDisk. Uh, IP67 water resistant, dust resistant, shock proof, can't crush it unless you sit a herd of elephants on it. <laughs> what more can you ask for? Rough, rugged, and raw right here with the G Drive from G Technology. So you heard it here, the winner of all my SSDs. Like I said, I'm not doing this again unless I get an overwhelming amount of comments saying, we want you to do a certain one. But for right now, G Drive is going to be the winner. So hopefully this is able to help someone out. I'll link both these below so you can make up your mind and see which one is going to be best for you. Hope this helps. Until next time, be sure to give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.